Hello and welcome back to my channel. I am Simply Brentley. Don't forget to get your energy in and like, comment, and subscribe for all of your manifestation needs as well as for personals. Head on over to my website, energyllc.com. The link will be in the description box below. Holy Father, angels, ancestors, speak through me. If I reach one person and one person alone, which I know I will, please and thank you. This is just going to be a happy Valentine's Day reading for the collective. I know, ignore my nails. I've been soaking them in acetone because I'm going to get a new set at the end of the week. And I can't get all of them off. So this is, by the end of the week, hopefully they, I can get them all off. So this is what we have left. Anyway, let's get right into the tarot. We have the four of pentacles. Okay. Okay, okay, okay. So there was some stinginess here. Some stinginess. Five of swords and then the seven of swords. Okay, there's been a no-win situation that somebody's been putting energy in but haven't been getting reciprocation back. Somebody's been very deceitful. Somebody's been very loving towards this person, but they haven't been able to actually get that same energy return, right? Magician. So it's something that you've been manifesting. Then we have the Ten of Cups and the Four. Okay, so this is what I feel like. It, it's like you've been in separation. There's been some separation between you and a person. And in the past, this person has been very much so deceitful, very much so not going anywhere. There, there wasn't any movement in this situation. But there's been a lot of resting and recuperation happening here, and they've um, been thinking about you a lot lately, especially, you know, since today is the lover's day and all that shit like that. Um, they've been thinking about you a lot lately and they do see, you know, good fortune and harmony with you and they've been trying to manifest you. But since you have separated yourself from this person, they don't know how you'll take that shit. Don't know how you'll take it. Let me see if I can fix the camera so you can see all the cards. All right, that's better. And let's, let's, let's switch it up. Let's put some love angel oracle on this. Okay, and what flipped around? Flirt. So this person does want to um, come back in being very flirtatious with you. Um, they they do want to go ahead and, uh, you know, just be very lighthearted, not do anything too seriously, but they do want to have a conversation with you. So it's not going to be any type of, like, sidestepping as far as having a conversation because they know that there's some things that, that really need to be discussed. There's some things that really need to be discussed. There's some things that need to be worked on and... You know, it, it's been long enough where where this um, relationship, situation, shit, wherever you may want to call it. I'm making sure my cards are straight, y'all. Whatever you want to call it, um, it's, it's been too much stagnation. And, it, and it's time for a conversation for either to move on, to get um, some type of better understanding, or to grow together and still to get a better, regardless, this, to get a better understanding. All right. Holy Father, angels, ancestors. What else do we have? What is that that fell over? Okay, we have a new love. So um, we do definitely have a new love coming your way. So there definitely could have been something in the past that wasn't really for you, that you were not getting that reciprocation. But what about this new love? Okay, so this love, new love may be a little bit different from um, what you've had before, like, you know, like what you've experienced before, different than your normal type. Okay, and then separation. So as th th you and this person are in separation, um, there's somebody else coming into the picture. And there's going to be, you know, a lot of chemistry here. There's going to be a lot of chemistry here. This person from your past is healing a lot of family issues, healing lack issues, healing things within themselves. Like it was never you. You gave everything that you were supposed to give. You were showing that unconditional love. It was something within themselves that they definitely had to work on. Soulmate. They're realizing that you are their soulmate. You are their counterpart situation. They do want to go ahead and retreat with you. Um, they they want to, you know, they want to take this relationship further. They don't want to be so stagnant. They, but you need to definitely pay attention to these red flags, okay? Because while you were in separate, while you were in separation, this person was doing some introspection with themselves. But there's also this new love opportunity. 
So, you know, if you are finished with those karmic cycles and this person has not ascended, then you know you don't want to repeat these same, you know, karmic cycles that, that you've already learned from. It's safe for you to love. Okay. So, it's saying that it's safe for you to love, but we're going to get some clarification. Let me put the tarot back on it. And then look at the bottom of the emperor. Okay. Let's see what else is going on. So this person knows they caused you a lot of heartbreak. And they had to learn to love themselves to be able to give love. They know there was a lot of stagnation here. They know that you moved on and, and you removed yourself from the situation because they weren't reciprocating that energy and they were going bullshit. So the new love is like, they're coming in because they don't want anybody else to have you. They don't want anybody else to have you. And look, cut the deck on motherfucking empress. You, the motherfucking empress. Because with you is happiness. It's, it's everything with you. You're winning now. You're shining. Past person returning. Six of, six of cups. What is this that flipped over? Then we have the nine of wands. So definitely... If you are, like, everybody's going to not want to accept this person back. But this person looks like they've been doing some ascending to trying to learn what the fuck the real deal is to, to give to you appropriately what you deserve, right? Um, but they want this new cycle with you. They want this new cycle, and they know that you're going to call judgment on their ass. They know that you're going to, you know, say it for what the fuck it really is. Then we have the four of wands and the lovers. So deep soul connection, and this person wants to celebrate with you. They don't want anybody else to have you. They want to be able to express that they love you and, you know, any type of new love situation that you may have, anybody that is looking at you, anybody that may want to, you know, they, they want to be able to tell you or show you, not tell you, motherfucking show you that, you know, that your wishes could be fulfilled with them, that they were doing a lot of juggling in the past, and they do see completion with you. So I do see some fast movement coming in um, because you're you're irreplaceable. You're irreplaceable. And I say this shit all the time. It ain't nobody but one you. How you do something is not going to be the same way how somebody else does the same motherfucking thing because you got your little judge to it. Judge. You you do it your special way. You do it your special way and it ain't nobody like you, right? So definitely have your discernment out. Don't, don't just accept this person back. Make them prove that shit. And, you know, have deep conversations to get to know each other better and what's going to be accepted and what's not. Right? Period. And that's a motherfucking truth. Ace of Swords. Because once you gain this mental clarity on both ends, you know what the fuck you deserve because you've been working on yourself so fucking much. You know what the fuck you deserve. So definitely stay in that truth. And if it's not for you and you have to compromise, and it's not like a compromise where both of you are compromising, then fuck that shit and move on to yourself. Because I feel like a lot of people just want to move on to their self anyway because they know their worth and they ain't got time for no bullshit. Right? It ain't going to be no easy peasy type of shit. It's going to be proof. All right, all right, all right. Happy Valentine's Day, all my beautiful people, my beautiful soul tribe. Don't forget to get your energy in and like, comment, and subscribe. For all of your manifestation needs as well as for personals, head on over to my website, energyllc.com. The link will be in the description box below. As always, peace, love, and namaste.